So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do different band color combinations in Google Earth Engine, um, especially using Landsat imagery um, and doing different combinations of bands. And you will see what bands mean um, and doing different combinations of bands to do a true color or normal color, a color infrared and a false color. And um, some of the data I will be presenting today, um, there's some resources and I will put it in the links. So let's go to Google Earth Engine and go to Datasets. And in Datasets, go to Imagery. And in Imagery, select Explore Landsat. And in Explore Landsat, go to Landsat 8. And in Landsat 8, we'll see we have all sorts of different data but let's select surface reflectance tier one and tier one is the uh, it's a the most calibrated version of the data out there which for for landsat um which is good if we're going to do analysis through time okay so let's go down 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 all the way here where we see the code and um this is a longer code than we've seen before and um they include a function which is amazing for doing uh, masking of the cloud. So that way we can collect data for the entire 2016 for a region and eliminate the clouds, So which is great. And if you have done remote sensing in the past, this would be a task that would take really, really long time. And now we can do it in minutes. So you'll see. And let's click opening code editor and if we click run it will take us to australia and in fact let me move away from australia because it's a bit confusing of a place because of um let's find a place where we have more forest let's go and water in an ocean so let's go here yeah, sorry about moving so much around. Let's go here to the Guyanas. Okay, so here we have a landscape which is easier to interpret, um, at least from my point of view. And um, and let's actually go to Inspector, and I'm gonna click here. And from now on, I'm just gonna use this area as my area to discuss the information. So let me change the map center. So we are always in that area if we decide to run it again. And from the inspector, you will see that I have a, when I click the pixel, we have a lot of data. We have multiple bands. So see this image has multiple bands, but which are the bands that are currently being seen in the image? So the bands that we're seeing is B4, B3 and B2. And you might be asking, what is a band? Okay, so band is a range of the spectrum being measured by a sensor. Uh, maybe that didn't help you so much, but um, let's go back here to the data set. Okay, so, and again, we had multiple bands. We have band one, band two, band three, you get the idea. And each one, it has a range. It's only collecting the information that it's within this wavelength that goes from 0.435 to 0.4. 451 micrometers. Well, let's go back to the code. Okay, so we're creating here um, an object that has information about uh, that is going to be then given to the parameters of that we're going to add to the layer. And in that object, we have this um, array, which is called bands. And that array, we usually give it the first value that is going, going to be the band that we're going to assign to the red channel. Okay, so as we saw in class, uh, one band is gonna be assigned to the red channel, one to the green, and the other one to the blue. So the first one, if you remember, before was the one for the greens, the, sorry, for the reds, the V3 is the greens, and the V2 is the blue. You can check it out here again. Um, let me close this, I don't need that. So again, B4 is the red, B3 is the green, and B2 is the blue. So right now, again, like I showed you in the 
in the presentation we're doing we're observing the true color or normal color so that's why when we look at the image so the ocean looks blue the forest looks green okay and here is the sedimentation and it looks brown so it, it looks kind of like what you would get out of a, of a regular camera okay but I told you also I was going to talk about something else. I was going to call, talk to you about color infrared. So let's see how we do color infrared. So to do color infrared, um, what we need to do is to change the band combination. And the band combination of color infrared, it's usually this one. So well, actually, let me look into the bands. So yeah, so here we have the near infrared. Near infrared is B5. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Just gonna assign this one to be B5. And um, this one is gonna be B4. And this is gonna be B3. And let's run it. And that is a color infrared, okay? And um, this is a very traditional way of seeing images that shows you um, vegetated versus non-vegetated. Let's see another color combination. And, and when we start moving into all other types of color combinations, band combinations, I should say, then we start to call them, like I show you here in the presentation, false color. Some people already call false color the color infrared, but um, just so you know, you know, when we do this combination of uh, near infrared, red, green, we call that um, color infrared. So let's do a few other color combinations. And a good resource for that uh, is actually this, this site. Um, and I will put the link below. Um, this site talks about the different uh, bands that have the Landsat and tells you a little bit about what each band does. Right, so it's, it's a good information. But it also talk, talks to you about different band combinations as well, um, like we'll see. And, um, and I'm, I'll make a few of those band combinations so you can see the kind of information that, that um, each uh, band combination gives you. It's, it's, this is also a question of, of, um, of a taste, right? Because some people like more certain combinations than others. So let's go to a more exciting place um, where we could actually some urban combine combine with um, with forest and um, let's go to Iquitos. I, I like this area because it's where I used to do research and it will give us some idea of the different combinations. So because over there you can only see vegetated and non-vegetated. Here you can see vegetated and you can see urban and you can see water. Right, so you can see the vegetated in red, and you can see the the urban um, in this brown and the and the water. Um, so let me show you other color combinations. In fact, let me go again to Inspector and then click here and take out those coordinates so we can then come back to that place. And um, let me click Run. Right, so we're in this area. Actually, I should have given it a bigger zoom. Okay, now we're here. Good. And now let's start doing different types of color combinations. And again, there's a lot of different color combinations out there, which will give you um, more information when you're looking at the image. So you can distinguish between different uh, features that you see in the landscape. Let's start with one of those uh, combinations that will fall within the false color um, combination. So again, some people call the color infrared already a false color. So, but just know that if we're not using the red band for the red channel, the green band for the green channel, and the blue band for the blue channel, then that means that it's going to be false color. Okay, um, so let's start doing some false color combinations. And I'm going to change it here to 6, 4, 3, so you can see what it comes out. And now you can start seeing different types of features. So for instance, before we couldn't see the difference between the different types of water features, right? So this is uh, the main river, and um, this river has a lot of sediments. 
this is a river that doesn't have that much sediments the same as this one over here um, but also we can see a bit of the oxbow lake so we can see water but in a different kind of setting okay but the other thing is that you can see that there's the vegetation right um but this that is forest and this is vegetated but that's agriculture and you can see the different levels of density in um in the urban areas so it, it's giving us some additional information so let's So with this bank color combination, we're getting to see more different types of a uh, forest and also different types of a uh, water types. Um, but the forest looks red and maybe we want to make it more obvious to people that what we're seeing here is actually forest not, and not something red. So one of the things that we need to change is uh, the green channel. So we can give the green channel something that reflects a lot of, uh, that something that the forest reflect a lot, um, which let's see, it could be uh, as well, the short wave infrared. So let's go ahead and, and do that. This is one of the combinations that I really like. I'm just gonna change it to P6. And see, and now the forest looks green and we still can see different types of forests. So see, we can see this kind of forest. This is such an interesting place. See, we can see different types of forests. We can see farms here. The light greens are farms and the darker uh, greens are uh, different types of forest and, and so forth. We can see the water looking blue. So it's a combination that allows us to see different types of uh, features in the landscape and also it's um it's visually more appealing right because it relates a little more to our sense of what things mean right so water usually we relate with blue and trees we relate with something green so i hope you have learned some of the uh, ways to change band combinations in another video i'll show you a little more about things that we can change but you can remember as in previous uh, videos that we can change what are the minimum and maximum values that are going to be presented. But here already they have selected some for you to be starts being able to see the Landsat imagery.